Hey friends, my name's Mitch, and I'm here to give you an overview of Rembrandt Pastels. So, this is a 90 half-stick set that I got from the UK, and I got it from the UK because it's half the price of getting it from the USA. So, I'm not sure why they charge double once you get into the States, but whatever. I uh, just got it from overseas. So, this is the half-stick set, and I'm going to encourage all of you, to, if you're trying a new pastel, to get a half-stick I don't get whole sticks. If you don't like it, you're stuck with this whole stick and you're not going to use it. Um, Rembrandt, almost guaranteed you're going to like it. They, they, it's just such a nice pastel. This is not going to be the top of the line because a 90 stick set, for example, cost me $50. So you're looking at 50 something, 60 cents per pastel. This is not going to be, you know, top of the line pastel. And obviously, it's not handmade like some of its competition, say, um, Unison, Mount Vision, and things like that. But for the price, you get a, a pretty quality product. Um, I would not do a base coat in these. I would come back with these for a second coat. In other words, you're coming back for details and stuff. And since it's a harder pastel, it does go on well and make a nice like line for whiskers or hairs or anything like that. So. Uh, because it's a harder pastel, it, it does a nice job with that type of stuff. So I like these for what they are, which is a discounted pastel. It looks pretty good. You're going to come in on the second layer and do some detail work with this, do some backgrounds maybe with this, etc., etc. So, so I like the light fastness of these. You have 157 that are light fast, at least 100 years, and then you have the rest 61 which are light fast 25 to 100 years, which should be sufficient for most people, I think. So, um, it's, it's nice light fastness. About half their line is completely non-toxic, and the other half fall into the cadmium and heavy metals, and, and they get the Prop 65 from California, and you got a couple with an extra CO warning. So, um, it's pretty good for as far as safety is concerned, and these are probably um, one of the, if not the most popular pastels in the world. So, and for good reason, the price, they're not too bad, um, and they're sort of nice. So, again, this is the 90 half stick. And the reason I recommend half stick is because you can try it out without a huge investment. They also obviously come in full sticks. And I did get full sticks for things that I use a lot, which is going to be dark to dark brown to the tans. It's going to be uh, the oranges for the tigers, things like that. I'm going to use a lot more of these than I would say, you know, this weird turquoise color kind of thing. So um, I got a few full sticks, I think like 20 full sticks. The rest is half sticks. And again, I would use these for backgrounds. I would use these for small details where it's not going to be a large, large area of coverage. So, comes in a nice box, and you can get a wooden box, again from overseas. I shop at jacksonsart.com, and with a coupon, you can get a full 225 set with wooden box for 300 something. So, so, it's a very good deal, especially if you're just either starting out, or you just want to play around with a different type of pastel, or you need something as a filler. Because a lot of times when we do pets, what we'll do is we'll buy a bunch of specific colors that we need, like the browns, the tans, the, the whites, blacks, the grays, and we don't really get anything else because that's all you really need for the pets. So you need like just a small set for, again, your backgrounds and things like that. So let's give these a comparison, shall we? All right, so we just have some white paper here. And what I want to do is I want to compare Unison. Now, Unison, if you get these overseas, they're about 250 And if you get them in the U.S., they're like 650 So, again, massive discrepancy. And you don't have that discrepancy with other brands, which is confusing to me. Why, why isn't like Terry Ludwig, right? Terry Ludwig is created locally. Why isn't that double the price when you go overseas or something? It doesn't make any sense. It's actually cheaper from the U.K., Terry Ludwig is, with coupon, than buying it locally. I don't understand. In addition, the Rembrandts don't qualify for coupons like at Blick, for example, and other places, and yet 
you can buy Rembrandt's over in the UK and they will qualify for coupons. So again, I'm not sure why the discrepancy in price. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare this Rembrandt, which is a light orange. Let me see if I can get the exact number. 236,3. So light orange. We're gonna compare it with a obviously almost exact match Unison of I think that's New Earth or any something Earth and Mount Vision. So to give you a price difference, again, this is 650 in the US or 250 overseas. This is about four dollars and nine cents. Uh, doesn't qualify for coupons either. And Rembrandt was uh, I think a dollar something for a stick. So let's give these a comparison. So we'll do Rembrandt up top first. Just get a good coverage here. Again, this is not an exact, exact match, but it's, but it's fairly close. I mean, this is close enough. All right, so there's your Rembrandt. So you got a nice coverage out. If you rub it with your finger, it blends in pretty good. And the vibrancy doesn't really pop as much as I thought it would. Okay, so now we'll get the Mount Vision. This is obviously Mount Vision 310. Get that. Go through here. This is gonna be a little darker. It does lay down the desk pretty well. It's not a bad, not a bad lay down of dust on this Mount Vision. Mount Vision, mm, say about the same vibrancy. Obviously we're down a shade, but the vibrancy seems about the same. I'm not sure why Rembrandt has all these gaps uh, here. Pressing fairly hard. I'm surprised that, I'm surprised that it's not filling in better. There we go. If we just do a full pastel dump, it fills in a little better of the tooth. Um, it looks like it's just a little thinner. It doesn't cake as much. In other words, the Rembrandt looks like it just has a really thin layer, even though I just dumped as much dust as possible, versus the Mount Vision, which seems to just do a thick, thick layer of dust, as well as go over here and just draw some over. That looks about the same. All right, so finally let's get the Unison. And put that down. Obviously not an exact match. Unison leaves a lot of dust hovering on the surface without blending in. I'm trying to get it all to blend in well. Unison has an even thinner coverage than the Rembrandt did. All right, so let's go over these. Right, let's go over these with some pencils. We'll start with a pastel pencil. This is white. I realize I need to sharpen this, whatever. Just do some hairs up there. So it performs pretty well. All right, and then colored pencil. This is Prismacolor White. So yeah, I mean overall, considering that that is like a third of the price of this, it performs pretty well. This is gonna be something that you'll be happy with. Um, if you're obviously preparing something for a museum or something like that, then uh, Rembrandt is going to be more of your base layer and you're going to come up with more expensive stuff on top. But for friends, family, for casual stuff, for just chilling with pastels, learning pastels, obviously Rembrandt is going to be more than sufficient for, for any of that. And you do see a lot of professionals on YouTube, uh, professionals you know that do gallery pieces and pastels, etc. They will use Rembrandt as the base layer, and we're talking about landscapes here where you have very sandy pastel papers. 
they'll do the base layer in Rembrandt or they'll do base layer in a uh, cheaper pastel and then they'll come back on top with the you know the schminky or whatever and then make a more details with that but overall this is a a great pastel especially for the price especially that you can comes in half sticks so you can try out a smaller half stick set or whatever and see if you like it see if this is your game I do see complaints about people talking about that it's wrapped not wrapped it's layered in like a thin layer of plastic or a thin layer of something around the outside so when you start you have to sort of grind it to get it started to get the pastel flowing I haven't really encountered that much but again I work on velour and pastel mat and both of those are are so textured that you know the the layer of plastic around that breaks off almost almost instantly so I don't see a real big problem with that they do sort of look like the the Legos of the pastel world so I mean they're all machine made they're gonna be the same size and etc etc but overall again fantastic product thumbs up I really really like Rembrandt and I think that's uh, uh, this is my this is my go-to for second layers and, and things like that so again very nice product